Hey guys, what's up? This is Jimmy here. We're gonna be reacting to this Camera video. and spotted in real life. We've all heard the stories about creatures and scary things <laughs> bump in the night. <laughs> These are legends of all sorts of animals that exist in the remote countrysides and forests. Really However, Already. what happens when oh, one of these creatures why, are actually why, why, caught on tape? So Do we believe that they're things. actually real? They're make me Here cry. are 10 of the scariest creatures dad, okay? ever caught on tape. Make sure to watch this video until the very end. Or we'll send one of these creatures to come visit you tonight. Number 10. I, I will, I will, the I promise. Bigfoot. This strange creature is said to roam the hills and woods of Pennsylvania. People have told... At least I don't live anywhere near Pennsylvania. ...stories about spotting this creature since the 1930s. I'm watching this outside right now. it has finally been caught on... I'm watching this outside... On my front porch, but at least I'm really close to the front door door. So if a wild animal appears and it like tries to attack me, then I could just like, like nope, and I could just dart inside as fast as I can. Like probably like get up on my feet and dart inside like a cheetah, cause like she's go cheetahs can go up to 75 miles per hour, but I can't go that fast. Emra. This creature is over seven feet tall. I bet he could get wrecked by an elephant. Why? Because, like, they could stab you with their tusks and stomp on you, but they only do that to protect themselves or and defend themselves. Or you could get trampled by a stampede. Walks upright on two legs. It is covered in white hair. I've heard of Bigfoot. The albino Bigfoot. But I've never heard of the albino Bigfoot. Moves extremely fast and makes loud pitched screams while running through the woods. It is described as sounding like a woman screaming. Others say it's so Whoa. What a pretty kitty. Sounds more like a panther. The creature is said to have no eyes and no ears. It almost looks like a humanoid or extraterrestrial figure that is found in caves. Drainage ditches. People who have seen it describe it as gray or a dirty white, shaped like an abominable snowman. Slash Yeti. As it glides across the camera, it almost appears as if it has no definable feet. It is a scary creature indeed, but rather than run toward people to attack, it seems to run away as if it's afraid to get caught. It was spotted and caught. So many mysteries to be explained but haven't been explained yet. Let me know if you have seen any mythical creatures like unicorns or anything like that caught on camera. Just let me know in the comments below. On camera on October 10th, 2015 in Pennsylvania. Number 9. The Flying Creature. While two people were posing for a typical tourist picture in Europe, you can see a flying creature appear up in the sky. Okay, either that is someone with a jetpack. Like, Die. I believe Unbeknownst I can fly. Unbeknownst to the posing couple, people all around them started to scream when they looked up and saw a humanoid creature flying above them. The creature almost resembles a witch on a broomstick, but it is clearly not. Okay, either that is a witch or it's Superman! Or someone that can fly. Any animal we have seen before. It almost appears to resemble the flying monkeys in The Wizard of Oz. It disappears for a moment only to reappear moments later. It is dark in color with a nondescript shape. It screeches high in the sky, threatening to dive down 
and attack the tourist in the square. Its high-pitched screeching is like that of a bird of prey, but it is too large to be any sort of bird. Oh, do you mean like this? So what do you mean by that? Before. After it disappears for the second time, we lose sight of the creature and it does not return for a third time. This entire event was caught on video by the person taking the picture of the tourist. Number 8, the Wessex Way Monster. In 2007 in Great Britain, people were finally able to capture actual footage of the Wessex Way Monster. It is a monster that has been rumored to travel back and forth across the Wessex Way northbound motorway. Sur is that a deer? Surveillance footage from a roadside camera managed to get documentation of this scary uh, there's an ad. The phone? Being a few years ago, people have been claiming to have seen this creature for years, but they were never able to get proof. This creature appears to be part human and part animal. It almost... Okay, okay, okay. I think I might know what it is. Either it is a... Either it is an... Like, a gray fox and... Like, a deer... A coyote, a wolf, or some other small, medium animal running across the road. So. This resembles a deer in the way it walks, but clearly you can see it is humanoid in nature. You can see what looks to be hands and feet, although it's galloping across the road on all fours at a very fast pace. Of speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you guys just like see that? It, I don't. It doesn't have a tail. Sometimes at a blurry distance, you can probably mistake that thing, like for a monster or something, and it's really a deer. <gasps> oh no! Oh, no, 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 two birds are fighting in real life. I gotta stop this. Pausing the camera. Be quick. Okay, so I stopped the two male bluebirds. Oh, my God. I should never mind. Guys, I was just, like, so close to those two male bluebirds that were fighting. I could have grabbed them. Oh, my gosh. There's three of me. Wait, there's one female watching to see who wins the fight. Hmm. Guys, don't be mad if you see, or upset if you see two, in, two male bluebirds fighting. They have a red belly and blue fur on their top bodies. That's the boy bluebirds. Don't be mad or upset if you see them fighting. It's just the way life goes. There's sadness, death, pain. It's just the way life goes. Actually outrun several cars on a busy speedway. It is able to jump high enough to leap over the road median without missing a step. There is absolutely no way to know where it came from or where it goes as it crosses this busy highway. Number 7, The Sewer Monster in North Carolina. There have been rumors of a sewer monster. What the? That looks more like a crocodile. Look, you guys see those teeth? It almost looks like a smile. Mr. Definitely a crocodile on There was footage of a blob-like creature wandering the sewer system of North Carolina. There was a lot of skepticism as to whether the creature was real or just an April Fool's hoax. The public utility authorities of Raleigh have confirmed that it's actually real. They just have no idea what it is. At first, the utility authority tried to say it was a slime mold and that it was nothing out of the ordinary. They have now changed their tune and admit that it is in fact a living, breathing, throbbing animal. However, 
They claimed that the footage was not captured in their public water system, but in a private water system in Cameron, North Carolina. Either way, there is a blob-like creature wandering the... It could have been just like a muddy crocodile or alligator. ...sewer system in North Carolina. It has been captured several times by at least one, maybe two reliable sources. No one has an idea how large this blob may grow. The hope is that it cannot escape the sewer system and make its way into the waterways. How, how, does, how does something like that eat in a sewer? Ugh. Number six. The Crawly Creature. A group of 20-somethings went to investigate an old asylum in Canada. The asylum closed in 2000 and has been invaded by squatters and vagrants since then. There's a ton of graffiti on the peeling walls and the building is in a state of despair. People go there to conduct paranormal investigations. On this day, the group was investigating one of the lower levels of the asylum when they heard a very loud scream coming from upstairs. They went upstairs to investigate and what they saw frightened them, and rightly so. The entire group of them ran for their lives when they caught sight of this creature. It resembled a spider in its shape, but had a large monster-like face. It almost looked to have the hands and feet of a human, but on a spider's body. It crawled out of one of the rooms and slowly made its way toward the group of investigators. Sadly, they did not stick around to get more footage of the creature, as they were too afraid. Number 5 could that be only a little, like, poor kid? It, it could have been a little poor kid that got hurt. It, like, could have fell onto something in that place and got hurt and had to crawl around. The humanoid Guys, never know. creature. A family was in their house enjoying their day when they heard a loud bang coming from the backyard. The father went outside to investigate. In the backyard, with an empty swimming pool, he looked around and heard the noise coming from above. He looked up along the roof line and saw what looked like a humanoid creature. What is that? that was part human and part alien. Some argued that it is just a misshaped human, but it's not like any human we have ever seen before. It is naked with a bald egg-shaped head. Its skin is a much darker orange than a regular human. It is also about seven to eight feet tall with a very long torso. And to put that into perspective, Robert Wadlow was the tallest human ever in the world, and he was 8 foot 11. The way it moves along the roof, then jumps atop the higher level of the home, is not the way a normal human would move. It also has alien-like features on its face. It had large bug-shaped eyes and a non-existent nose. It also appears to be missing ears and a mouth. Number 4 the strange creature in the tunnels of Japan. There were tunnels used in Japan during World War II. The tunnels contained very high levels of radiation and have been abandoned for many years. A team went down to do radiation level testing back in 2011. While down there, they saw this creature a few times. Nobody is sure if it's a creature or just a ghost. There appears to be a ghostly apparition coming out of the walls of the tunnel. It turns to face the camera crew at one point and it resembles a Japanese soldier. However, it is very tall and disappears out of sight. The creature speaks twice in the video, saying Koro Suyo, which translates into I am going to K-I-L-L-U. 
Yeah, I would say the whole word, but YouTube would probably demonetize this video. In Japanese, the same creature was captured in the same tunnel by a team a few years later. It appears to come out of the tunnel walls, stare hard at the crew, and then disappear into the other side of the tunnel. Number 3. The Jersey Devil in New Jersey for many decades, there have been stories and rumors of a creature located in the Pine Barrens of New Jersey. People claim to have seen it and captured it on film many times. Nobody has ever been able to debunk some of the more reliable pictures of the Jersey Devil. The creature looks like a bipod creature, hoofs on its feet and wings. Many have described it as a goat with horns and wings. It moves very fast and lets out a blood-curdling scream. The Jersey Devil, or Leeds Devil as it was first referred, is said to be a descendant of the Leeds family back in the 1700s. There are groups dedicated to studying and documenting proof of the Jersey Devil's existence. A lot of their videos have made it online and on YouTube. Whether or not you believe it's true, People who live in New Jersey and Eastern Pennsylvania start locking their doors and keeping their blinds closed when stories of the Jersey Devil start making their way around. Number 2. The Mothman. Another creature that wreaked I've heard of them. Havoc on West Virginia starting in 1966 is the Mothman. Stories have been written about him and movies have featured the Mothman. The residents of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, described the Mothman as being about six feet tall with a barreled chest, huge wings, and no head or neck. It has two red glowing eyes at the top of its chest. It makes a very high pierced screeching sound and terrorized the town of Point Pleasant for 13 months. This creature made an old ammunition depot his home and would come out at night to torture and scare people in the town. After being sighted by over 100 people, the Mothman seemed to have retreated into his hiding space for good after a bridge collapse in Point Pleasant. He has started to make his presence known again along the east coast of the United States. He has been caught on camera and video by several people even as recently as 2016. Number 1. The Werewolf of Brazil In the oh my gosh. city of Salandia, Brazil, there have been stories of a strange creature roaming the streets at night for years. The creature has always been described as half man and half wolf, or a werewolf. People always disregard the story. Something that I do do like a wolf, that I do what wolves sometimes do. I always run on my tippy toes. And wolves do that. I mean like some other people run on their tippy, tippy toes. I don't, I don't know why I like to do that. I'm kind of like an animal. Why I like to climb trees, like, you know, like a cat, sloths, other animals, like squirrels. As made up until a young girl caught footage of the werewolf running down the streets in Salandia in 2017. The story was published online along with the video. The footage was so unbelievable that the local government urged citizens to stay off the streets of Salandia overnight for fear that they could be attacked by this creature. The video made its way around Brazil. Wait, wait. Be attacked by this creature. The video. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ will always protect us. And I'm not choking. Jesus Christ. I believe in him. 
He died for our sins. I am not joking. It made its way around Brazil. One question: Why is he? Why is he even? Why is he in this video? Like, they can put him in a video if they want to. Until many other people claim to have seen the same creature wandering the streets and towns. The creature looks to be about six to seven feet tall, with legs and feet of a dog or a wolf. It walks upright like a human, but clearly is not a human. No attacks were documented, but the people of Brazil tr Ads. believe that this was footage of a real werewolf. This only confirms stories that have been passed down for generations in Brazil about a creature that roamed the country at night. So do you think any of these people expected to capture what they found on film or like us, were they surprised and more than a little scared to realize that there are creatures out there who don't want us to know that they exist? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more for content from us. Thanks for watching. And my name is Top 5 Best, and I'll see you at the top. Okay, I'm going to subscribe.